So I'm going to make a game in 1 hour and 10 hours. The only rule is, once the time is up, I can't touch it anymore. Let's go. I started off nice and simple by building a quick map. But don't judge, I'm a bad builder. Now we need to add some items around the map to smash up. So I decided to add some free models. When you click on an object, it loses health. And once it's out of health, the object gets destroyed. This was fairly easy to script, it only took around 10 minutes. But what next? Let's script a structure in the middle of the map that slowly gets built with every item you smash, so that players can shelter from the disasters. I took this castle from the toolbox, made it transparent, then wrote a quick script. Already, we've got a pretty decent game. With 20 minutes to go and not much time left to spare, I had to make a really simple lobby. Then it was time to create the most crucial part of the game, the round system and the disaster system. And this is where I was hit with a big problem. I'd wasted over 10 minutes trying to make the tsunami and nothing was working. Look, it just moves past the castle and doesn't destroy anything. Oh. I decided to add some meteors instead, which blow up the castle. But then, with only a few minutes left, I had a breakthrough. It was now a race to the finish. Three, two, one. Oh, man. That was stressful. I've made a game in one hour, but will people actually like it? Let's find out. This is so bad. Thanks. This sucks. I don't understand. Come on, come on, <laughs> come on, no. Let's build the castle entirely. Now we have to get inside. Oh, we're gonna go. Oh, it's meteors. Okay, let's get down. The castle is getting absolutely destroyed. Can we win, right? Yeah, we won. Hey. But it doesn't even say the winners. Yeah, this is a really buggy game. Now it's time to make a game in 10 hours. You see, there's a twist. This game is way more difficult than the last, but it's got so much potential. So I'll be joined by two friends who are going to help me with the development, Fab and Phantomize. And if we don't finish in time, I'll open source the game so everyone, including you, can take a copy. So Phantomize started to build the map, Fab built a tool to break objects in the map, and I started to create a backpack system. Have a guess at what you think the game idea is. I'll reveal it soon. So this video is being sponsored by Lunchables with 100% juice. Interesting crossover, but it'll make sense, trust me. They've just released a new Roblox game, and it's really similar to the one that I made in one hour. Just even better. In City Slam Survival, you break up the map to build a huge structure in the centre. Then, you try to survive different threats. So let's see if we can make a game as good as this in 10 hours. Progress was going well. Phantomize had finished up the map and Fab was making great progress with the brake system, which only had a couple of bugs, and I just sat around watching them do all the work for me. Only kidding. I was getting to work on creating the block placement system, starting with a UI that lets you equip certain blocks, such as wood, brick and steel. The block placement was going pretty well, it seemed easy and everything was coming together. Meanwhile, Fab worked on making some disasters, starting with some rising lava. Look at that, I managed to add block placing on top of other blocks. But then, things took a turn for the worse. So for some reason, the block placing has a huge bug. There's this gap in between the blocks when you hover, and when you click, it places in a completely different location. This took hours of debugging, and eventually, I got to the root cause of the problem. Alright, block placement fixed, time to add a health bar for the blocks. We were back on track. But then I made a huge mistake. I thought it would be cool to have a zombie survival mode where zombies break your structures. So I started to add a block destruction mechanic, but I realised it was going to take way too much time. Since I'd wasted nearly an hour on this, I had to move on to something else and just bin it off. But hey, maybe I'll make a 100 hour game and do it then. There were only a couple of hours to go, so I decided to finish up the game by adding a data store system, polishing up the UI and adding some currency. For some reason, the data stores just weren't working and took a good hour to fully implement. I've got to say by the way, I'm loving this challenge so far. It's actually been really fun despite the stress of getting this game done in 10 hours. And I'm sat here editing the video and I'm being reminded of just how fun it was to do this challenge. Honestly, I can't wait to do more of them. Being against the clock is just so fun. So let me know in the comments some more challenges and game ideas you've got for me. The crazier the better. I read all your comments. And of course, if I use your idea, I'll give you a shout out. The testing went okay. There are only a few bugs, such as the blocks randomly deciding to fall over, and the status bar saying everyone survived, regardless if they died. Made in 10 hours, what do you think? At least the feedback was better than last time. We played a few more rounds, and people said that the game was getting a bit boring, which I agree with, because there are only two disasters, and there's not enough time to build great structures. Plus, it's really easy to win, 
All you have to do is just build a really big tower and stand on top. So with the half an hour or so that I had left, I made some changes to the game. Firstly, I added a ton more trees, as well as some cones and park benches for players to destroy. And just for a bit of fun, since we're sponsored by Lunchables with 100% juice, I added some Lunchables crackers around the map for some extra decoration. And finally, I made some adjustments to the round script to fix a few bugs that had arisen. Oh, and I added a ragdoll as well for anyone who dies. Now, I asked my friend Drawies to create a logo for the game so that it could at least look professional. And look at this, it's amazing. Seriously guys, if you need a logo for your game, check him out, he did it so quickly. I'll credit him in the description. I also asked on Twitter if anyone could make me a thumbnail really quickly, and I found someone to do it. So shout out to Korean, because this thumbnail looks incredible. So, we've got a name, icon, and thumbnail. The game's ready to release. This is it folks, no going back now. The 10 hours is up. Maximum visitor count, 50 people. Tweet's gone out. Sorry for ping. You don't want to miss this. Oh, they've trapped me. Here, who's this? Whoa. The players seem to be enjoying it, and it was actually fun watching them build the structures. I think this is supposed to say sub, so if you haven't already, make sure you have. Oh. 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 Oh, oh, we're dead. The full damage goddess, I want to see. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, dear. <laughs> he survived. This guy survived. That was my favorite. Okay. Now, my game didn't have any monetization, but that was okay, because it was really nice watching people having fun in something that I'd created in such a short space of time. Now, you probably think this is it, but actually, no, there's another twist. Now, did I tell you that we're also going to make a 100 hours version of this game? We need your help, though, because with a little bit more time, this game could be amazing. And with 100 hours, there's so many things that we could do. So in the comments, let me know what you think I should add to this game. It could be features, it could be monetization, map ideas, disaster ideas, anything. Also, let's just give a massive round of applause to Fab and Phantomize for giving up their weekend to help me out with this. Absolute legends. I attempted to add their characters into the video, but Roblox Studio just didn't want to have it. If we use your idea, I'll also give you a shout out in the video when we get it done. In the meantime though, I'll be publishing this game with a few extra added features for you to check out that will come with the 100 hours version. So go play it and maybe it can become a popular Roblox game. I'm also going to let you guys know how much Robux this game makes once we've got some monetization in. So make sure to subscribe if you want to see that. Hopefully this video will inspire you to start learning to code and maybe make your own Roblox games because it's actually quite easy if you just put the time in. Don't forget to give City Slam Survival a go as well, a link to that will be in the description. Thanks to Lunchables with 100% Juice for sponsoring this video.